A once important Transpennine route that closed in 1962 was the Stainmore Line, linking T-Bay and Penrith in the west with Darlington in the east. Although built mainly for mineral traffic, especially coke from the Durham coalfield to the ironworks of Furness, in BR days the line was at its busiest on summer Saturdays, with scheduled holiday trains running between Blackpool and either Newcastle or South Shields. The track bed of this stretch of the line near Ravenstonedale is now the main A685 road. Trains were commonly double-headed in order to tackle the gradients of up to 1 in 59 between Kirby Stephen and Stainmore Summit. Ravenstonedale station had already been closed to passengers for nearly a decade when the very last train over Stainmore passed through in January 1962. The Stainmore line was known for its heavy engineering works, including Smardale Viaduct, which was some 550 feet long and up to 90 feet high. Although most of the costs associated with running a railway cease when the line closes, some, like the maintenance of listed major structures, still continue. Although the isolated Smardale Viaduct hadn't carried any revenue-earning traffic for 40 years, it still had to be maintained by BR and then rail track. Eventually, this impressive structure was sold for just a penny and restored by the Northern Viaducts Trust and today forms part of a pleasant country footpath. Heading towards Kirby Stephen, the Stainmore Line passed through an arch of the other Smardale Viaduct on the Settle and Carlisle Line, just visible in the distance. Kirby Stephen East was the junction for the Eden Valley branch to Appleby and Penrith, part of which survived for freight traffic until the 1980s. The track between Appleby and Walcott was never lifted, and the reopening of that section was the first target of the Eden Valley Railway Society, formed in 1995. The site of Kirby Stephen East Station was also saved, and in the longer term, the Eden Valley Railway Society aims to restore a train service on the 11-mile stretch from Appleby to Kirby Stephen. Bilar Viaduct was without doubt the most famous engineering structure on the Stainmore Line. Spanning a distance of over a thousand feet and standing 196 feet above the valley floor, it was built entirely of iron, designed to combine strength with lightweight construction. Today there's barely a trace of the railway at Bilar. The viaduct was dismantled and cut up for scrap soon after the line closed in 1962, leaving only memories of the holiday trains that once clattered across the valley.